Hi, I'm Katie and this is my first video of customising stuff that you already have, shoes, handbags, clothes, anything that you think, oh, I'll throw away, I'll sell it on eBay, take it to a charity shop, why not, instead of buying something new, why not try and customise the stuff that you do have and you can save out on money and then you can create your own things and the best thing about customising your own, you know, pieces, that no one else has it. It's completely unique and you can do whatever you want with it. You just need to know the tips and tricks of how to do that. So I'm going to be talking to you about relacing a pair of shoes today. So they have a very expensive look. I bought these shoes on eBay. They were £6. They're just a suede uh, cream colour. Um, I wanted to do something with them just to show you like how easy it is to accessorise your items and create something that you want to create you know, a pair of shoes that you really want or you've seen something that a designer and you wanna you wanna make them your own. Um so that's them. Um and I created these. Um they've got lace all over the shoe as you can see. They've got cord all around the tops, they've got cord all around the shoe and all the way down the side of the heel as well as um above. Um, so yeah, I created these and uh, they've also got a piece of material on the inside just to make sure that they're quite comfortable. Uh, that is, I think, quite important when it comes to shoes. Um, the material I actually used was actually off a pair of underwear um, because the, the underwear, they were so soft and they were a nice nude colour. I'd never worn them. They were from next, so they're quite good material. So I decided to just cut, um, like a, a piece and then go with that. Um, so yeah, that's the shoes that we will be creating today. And I will be taking you through the process of how I created them. And hopefully you can create your own custom made shoes. The tools I used is obviously you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut up your lace. Um, I used a brush and some all-purpose glue. The glue that you use needs to be very strong. It, it can't be PVA, let's face it, because uh, it needs to keep all the materials attached together and if it rains or anything like that, you know, um, it needs to be very strong. Um, I bought this brush, which was a pound from Savers, uh, so it's very good value. Um, also, I made it quite useful to have a baby wipe on hand just because when you're using the glue and the brush, the brush, brush is going to harden up. Um, so just to keep wiping away the glue as, as you're kind of going along. Um, I have a brush like this. It's a suede brush for boots, so any dirt you get on there. But I used it as well, this copper side here. It's really kind of hard. Um, I used it with the brush so when you... Um, when the glue starts to harden up at all, just keep going like this with your with your brush and it should just brush away all the glue. But you can get these. There, I did see one. It wasn't a suede brush, it was just a tool, but they, they were in Poundland. So if you go to the tool section, you should be able to find one there. Um, I also used a pair of tweezers, like a long toothpick that you, I got from uh, Savers. This was a pound, you got like eight in a pack or something, but they're quite good because they're quite pointy at the edge and then they're like slanted so you can, you know, you can use it in all different ways. Um, some tweezers which can get you in like kind of the nooks and crannies um, and a sharpie pen because the material's black or if you have any kind of glue that hardens up and it looks a bit white you can just go over that with a sharpie pen just to make sure that you don't draw onto the actual shoe you're drawing onto the lace not the shoe um and this is the material that i put inside that i said is from some underwear which some people might think is weird but because it's so soft that's the only reason i used it um and i just um kind of did it in strips and then rolled it up and that just creates, a, you know, a, just a line in that you can, can add to the top of the shoe. Uh, this is the cord I used. It's just elastic, black elastic. Uh, but it's got, you, you can't see it here, but it kind of shines in the light and stuff. So it, it does look quite expensive. It does look um, quite upmarket. Uh, and the lace, finally, was £2.25. You know, it's really pretty. It's just minimal um kind of design just a flower and that but you know it looks really nice against um cream you've got kind of that mink thing going on uh, so there, there are the tools i used i'm going to take you through now how i did it 
So you've got your shoe, you need to make sure you spread your lace out on a flat surface, place your shoe towards the edge of the lace, wrap the lace round the heel because you need to make sure you have enough material. So if you wrap it round towards the, towards the heel, make sure you have enough um, and then wrap it back over and you're going to see kind of where where your shoe fits with the you know the shape lace that you have so the way i did it was that you have a seam down there which you can't really see that much i was quite impressed with this you have a seam at the front and you have a seam at the back so you need to kind of place your shoe diagonal on your lace so this is what your shoe is going to look like before it's been laced um you've just uh, wrapped it around the heel and so as you can see you've wrapped it around the heel there and so you've got all that material just in case you need a little extra you've got all this material to go around your heel and then you've got all that material that is going to come to a point at the end of the shoe so the first thing you need to be doing is you need to cut your lace in two pieces for the heel and for the rest of the shoe just make sure you're thinking about the proportions and how much you're going to need you can always do a pattern so you can always you know, uh, draw around the the amount that you need and, and do it that way, but I just always thought it was easier just to get on with it. So you're going to have this piece and that's going to go easily around your, your heel like that. And then you have got another piece which is going to fit straight around your shoe like that. So you can nip in this edge here and then you can nip in the side at the uh, the the top side. So that's going to, you know, cover all of your shoe. Um, the way that I decided to do it was lay on its side and apply the glue that way. Um, so you just take a bit of your, bit of your um, glue and what you need to be doing is just patting onto the flowers. I didn't touch any other part of the material than the flowers. You need to make sure you're patting on the flowers but not too much of the glue and also your toothpick comes in handy here because you can just roll on top of the fabric like a rolling pin like you're rolling a pancake or a not pancake, pizza. So you uh, can keep doing this until it sticks. But you don't want to add too much glue because otherwise if you add too much glue you know you're going to be able to see the glue on top of the fabric which is not what you want so you can see that's just one flower but that now that is actually stuck on there um if you can see <laughs> like that it's just dangling so basically that's just what that's the way you need to be doing your whole shoe and you can always pat it down with your fingers if you feel like that helps you. And that's now clearly stuck on. So if you go all the way around your shoe, make sure you're, you're holding your fabric down to the shoe. You know, you want it to be stick tight so it looks part of the shoe, not so it's kind of, you know, bumpy. So this is your shoe all laced up. It's all been glued on. Um, you can leave it just like this if you like. But you just need to make sure the edges are, you know, very smooth and, you know, not... not um, patchy or anything um if you ever come up where because with lace it can tear sometimes so if you come up with a patch like you know on the edge or something and you're missing a little patch just cut a little bit out and then stick it on and you'll be fine um so yeah so it's all you know pretty done very well um on here i just made sure i used the tweezers to push it into into the shoe so that if you wanted to just do the heel and have the cream shoe then you know it would still look fine so yeah so that's the shoe what we're going to do now is add the lining to the shoe because if you even if you wanted to keep it just like this no cord you still need to add the lining because it is you know the the lace the edges of the lace might be quite stiff and hard so when you put your foot in there they might cause irritation which you know you're not going to last long if you know your shoes are hurting you that badly um so yes yeah, so but that's all laced up i'm going to have the lining now and then i'll be back okay so that's all the uh lining done you can see it's all tucked in there just make sure it's not coming out just have a little tug on it and 
because your feet are gonna go into it your feet are gonna slide in so you know you need to make sure that it's not gonna kind of pull away so just have a little tug at it with your with your fingers and if it doesn't go anywhere then you should be fine like I haven't done this completely neat because I'm going to put cord over it so there's no point um, but if you wanted to have like a, a you know a different color like this the black against the um, cream that's you know kind of nice because you would just see this kind of really thin line okay so that's all the cord done you can see here it's all finalized it's Got the cord around there and the heel and then all the way around the bottom of the shoe. You need to have a bit of a tug on these though just to see if they're coming away at all because like you can see there that's just a slight. So you just need to tuck some glue under there. As long as you tuck glue under there and seal it then it should be fine because when you're, you know, when you're putting on your shoes and taking off your shoes then if this is going to come away at first then it's going to come away very easily so you need to make sure that that's very hard stuck um, so that was just an example of that all I'm going to do now is go over it with the sharpie pen to make sure the flowers are like outlined just so they're a lot more visual and also go around the trimming and around the bottom of the shoes just to go under any glue that you know is you know not meant to be there but otherwise, I'm pretty much done. Um, so I'm just going to go around with the Sharpie pen and I will be back with the final piece. Okay, so this is the finished shoe. You can tell it's all done. Quite high quality. Um, there's bits of glue that you can just pull off on the underside. But otherwise, you know, it's kind of brand new. <laughs> This is your pair, um, very nice pair of shoes, go with a lot of different outfits. Um, it's great if you've got a pair of shoes that are a bit dirty and you can't wear them, you know, if you've got a new pair of heels and they're dirty on the front and it looks really, you know, like they've been worn so many times, this is the great solution. So this is, I think this is a great option. You don't even have to go with the cord. Just make sure if you don't go with the cord that you're extra careful with glue because you don't want it to look messy and cheap. But I think these look very high quality and I think in a store they would cost you like 40, 50 quid. Uh, especially this shape, the kind of Louboutin shape, which is quite high in demand at the moment. And the, the high heel, which a lot of uh, girls like. So yeah, um, I will be adding more videos so stay tuned because I might even end up giving these away to a subscriber. Okay, thanks, bye!